Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the Toy House Factory Hyper Magnum which is uh, the uh, knockoff masterpiece uh, Ultra Magnus and uh, yeah um, I don't own the original uh, masterpiece uh, Ultra Magnus uh, there were a lot of stuff that I really did not like about the um, uh, masterpiece uh, original one uh, mainly the joints that are weak and uh, the butt flap the butt flap really killed me from, from it's stupid it's just a butt flap but it looks so ugly on the figure but this one has both these fix uh, it, the joints are all ratchety and you can hold the legs up even though the legs are now I have a lot of die cast uh, the feet are uh, really heavy and the butt flap now has a storage it's really a stupid f fix like really like how could Asbro not even think about it it's so simple but it works so good so there it is I picked up the uh, hyper magnum because this one fitted my needed even <laughs> he's even like uh, a fraction of the cost the original one th uh, is about like 120 150 dollars and this one goes for 60 like it's even <laughs> it's amazing so yeah here's the box cool art on the side we've got magnus and robot on the top we've got oop, we've got uh magnus in truck mode on this side we've got again ultra magnus in uh Robot and in the back, we've got cool arts and uh, poses. So uh, yeah, the box is really huge. So uh, let's open it up and see what's inside. Uh, yeah. Yoink! And there's nothing else. Now one thing, uh, my figure didn't come with instruction. I verified we the uh, with the seller, and he should uh, the the set should come with instruction. Mine are just missing. Stuff happens, but uh, yeah, no instruction. But then again, the figure is already out, so transformation is not that hard. So yeah, no. Let's open this up. All right. Alright, accessory wise, we've got, uh, let's start with the gun. So we've got this gun. Now this gun is somewhat different than the original. The original is like shorter, about this size. And the uh, there was an add-on that came out, I think it was, uh, I don't want to say a Dreamwave or Perfect Effect, but whatever. There was an add-on that you just slid over the cannon and it made it bigger. This is the mold with the add-on on it. And it's molded so you can't separate it. So yeah, really cool cannon. We do have this handle right here. This is for storage in uh, truck mode. The handle does bend. Well yeah, there's no details. Cool cannon but no details on it. Next up we've got a new accessory that is... A new accessory that is not included in the original Magnus and it's that cannon and that cannon holy crap does it look good <laughs> only one problem though uh, I couldn't find any storage in vehicle mode so it's really a big bummer but yeah uh, we've got nice painted detail red and chrome and yellow and it's really nice it's just one chunk of plastic there's no articulation anywhere so yeah that's it just a big cool cannon next up we've got uh, two characters uh, not too much aware of who does he is guessing like Max and uh, Sam what uh, whatever we do have a uh, arm articulation legs knee bends so uh, it's cool you can pose them sitting down inside of Magnus so here's a closer look 
Keep focus. Focus. Stupid camera. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, just two characters that you can store in vehicle mode inside of the cockpit. Uh, next up we do have some close-fisted hands. Uh, you do have some uh, edge right here. This is for uh, holding the matrix. It's uh, something, I guess. It's it's mainly made only for this, and I got two left. Yeah, that's cool. Two left hands. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so QC ain't too good, but yeah, let's put this. Oink. Oink. So next up, we've got three had uh, three faces. Oh. So yeah, three faces, uh, two with uh, uh, white eyes, and two, well, the other one is on the figure, with smaller eyes. Two of them uh, have open mouth, and two of them have closed mouth, so it's rather basic, but that's it. Put them aside. And finally, we have Magnus. So I'm just going to clean up the table and come back. Alright, so the table has been cleaned up and we've got uh, Ultra Magnus in robot mode out of the package. And he is a big mama. <laughs> yeah, I uh, hardly have a uh, problem uh, uh, just centering him in the camera. So, yeah, really cool figure. So, um, yeah, first off, like I said, the uh, joints are all ratchety now. So, we do have ratchet elbows, ratchet shoulders. Uh, shoulders, we do have butterflies, but they're not ratchety. Uh, the legs now have, if you pull the skirt up a little bit, the legs now have ratchet, and you can see, you can hold the leg up. The original masterpiece couldn't even do that. Close this up. In the back, again, the butt flop is not present, and it's such a stupid, simple fix. I don't understand why Hasbro couldn't even do it. Like, the, the butt flap is right here. And it's stuck like this. The original buff up was just one piece and it looked like that and it, it was so horrible. But the fix is so simple, you just fold this up, just add a single uh, hinge. And there's already two uh, clip right here that kind of holds, so you just lift this up and clip it. That's it. It's so simple and it works. Why couldn't Hasbro do it? <laughs> so yeah, figure is pretty awesome uh, articulation we do have a ball joint at the head which uh, nods we do have a, a pivot here at the uh, elbow we do have if you unplug the arm from the joint right here you can have a ratchet like this you do have a swivel of the elbow ratchety elbow we do have a ball joint for the hand the Thumb is uh, doesn't move, but the finger can move independently from the other fingers. We have nothing at the waist. The legs, as I shown, we can lift the leg up like this, pull it back like this. It doesn't go back too much because of the butt flap kind of hinders. But and if you open up the side skirt, you can do this sort of split. Not the not too much, you know. We do have a knee bend about less than 90 degrees and we do have a swivel at the upper thigh like this and do we have a swivel right no no we don't have a swivel at the upper knee one thing that is weird it's ratchet in the back but there's no ratchet at the front so it's kind of odd and the feet um sort of tilt on the side like this and it's pretty much it there's no front back and nothing so yeah we do have the matrix it is included so if you open this up open this up open this up we do have the included matrix it's all in plastic so eh, it's cool at least we do have it the original uh, 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 ultra magnus didn't have the matrix you have to take it from the uh, masterpiece optimus prime so yeah speaking of which Here's comparison with 
masterpiece Ultra Magnus. So, yeah, I'm still really <laughs> hoping somebody builds an, arm an armor for him. I know there's a uh, Shapeway kit out there, but I want someone to sell it to me. Because <laughs> I don't have a Shapeway uh, access. And here's the Combiner Wars Ultra Magnus. So, yeah, really cool set. Although this blue is more like turquoise, like this one is more deep blue. So, yeah, still really nice figure. And, yeah, what else is to say about it? We can uh, change the faces if we move him closer. And I'm gonna need uh, some, I'm gonna need to raise the camera. Alright, just to exchange the faces, you first need to um, slide the mask out. So using fingernails helps a lot. And where is it stuck? Okay, so you just open this up like this. You do have a cool mask, and the mask is in die cast also, so it's really cool. And now you have the visor right here. You need to push it out. It's really hard, but yeah, voila. So this was the rounded eyes, mouth close. I don't like the mouth open, so I'm gonna use the other one, which is the wide eyes, mouth close, and just shove it in here. Voila. And then you just slide it in again. And now we have the wide eyes Ultra Magnus all installed. And yeah, really cool. So, yeah, Ultra Magnus. Now we can get ready for the uh, transformation. <laughs> so, transformation. Uh, Alright, transformation. So, transformation is exactly the same. There's no different step, even for the butt flap is not really different for uh, the original, from the original, so let's start right here with the arms, split them apart, and make sure the end is straight, and plug this in, same thing on the other side, unplug here, make sure the hand is straight, close it back in, open this up like, straighten up the arms, open up this flap right here, and come to the back, and this is gonna pop out like this. Flip this open. Flip the, uh, whoop, the shoulder pad open like this. Flip this open. There's a peg and peg hole here, so close this in like this. And yeah, you're pretty much done for the arm. Come to the uh, missile right here. Uh, the missile needs to be locked in like this. So the arms are done, well this arm is done, so next up, same thing on the other side, unplug this, open the top arm, plug it in, slide the, har the arm completely out from, uh, er, it's kind of hard, but on, what's, what's blocking? What is blocking it? Peg? No. Okay, it's just clipped in, so. Yeah, I'll straighten this up. Close this in, like this. Uh, open up the missile, like this. Flip it around and close it in, like this. So now I have both arms done, like this. Alright, come to the chest part. Uh, you want to open this up on each side, open this up, the, uh, these parts are uh, just clipped out and rotate down, so just clip it out like this, and uh, flip this, open, flip this down, close this up, close it here like this, come to the butt flap, open this up, straight it up, close this in, and slide the whole thing up like this and close it in well not really even right now so just just lift this open there's two pegs run right here the other right here which will clip with these so clip it in one two voila 
I'm gonna put the figure here. Uh, you want to uh, slide this in? Oh, so the, slide the head down like so, and this should go in like this. The head goes in like this. You may want to open up the chest. This will help. So, uh, yeah, the head needs to go down right here. The chest needs to close like this. So that the, it's kind of hard to see, but yeah, close like this. And now, uh, while closing the top half, there's two holes right here that will clip in like this. And voila. So, I may have needed to... Uh, Rotate the head around with the help. Yeah, like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now it clips in much better. Oops. Alright, oh, you can also unclip the cap, which will help a lot. <laughs> Alright, come to the smokestacks. Rotate them like this. Rotate like this. Make sure that all the panels are properly aligned on the uh, cab. This wasn't probably a line. Alright, now everything is. So now you have the cab like this. Open up the side mirrors. Side mirrors. Come to underneath. Flip the wheels open. And tab it in. Wheels open. Tab it in. So now you have the cab mode all done. Alright. You can put it back in, I'm just gonna wait, so put the vehicle right here, come to the arms, flip these, uh, the, the uh, missile really needs to be up like this, like this, flip the arms up like this, rotate the arms up, alright, like this, and close everything in, alright. Like this, peg the arms in like this. It's really hard right here. Ah. But there you go. Now you have the arms done. As for the legs, uh, legs, come to the back. I'm gonna move the camera down. Yoink. We can see something. Alright, open this panel up. Flip this open up open and come to the wheels slide them down rotate them slide them back up right here same on the other one slide it down bring it back slide it back up all right rotate this like this thing on the other side rotate it and right here you need to slide this on this side until it clips so slide it clips bingo you can see there's a connector right here that needs to plug in like this make sure the legs are also here there's another connector in between the legs tap it in straight everything up you want to peg the arms here, there's the tab, tab, one, and it's really tight, so be careful with this, uh, tab it in, alright, and finally just bring these panels up like this, and there's a tab right here, right here with the tab here, so we just plug it in, same thing here, clop, 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 and on the side, there's a hole here. You want to bring the panel. Uh, this one is really tight. Yeah. Flip it out. On the other side, same thing. Flip it out, and voila. So now you have the trailer all done. And you can just come and peg it inside of the truck cab. And we have 
Masterpiece, Ultra, Magnus, all transform, and yeah, he is really nice. Now, the wheels have problem rolling because they are tight, but they do roll. Uh, the van does spin on each side. Uh, one thing that I that bothers me a little bit is these wipers. They're loose. It's fun that they work, but they're kind of loose. They don't pop out, they just are loose. But yeah, still cool. I like it. And yeah. If you want, uh, you can take the gun and you can store it. You need to open up this and you need to store it in between the arms right here. There's a. Uh, can you see it? On peg it ear. Oop. On peg it ear. Mm. Yeah. As you can see on this arm, there's a peg and it's a, a line, and it lines up with this peg and lines. So bring it like this. Peg it in. Voila. As you can see, it just uh, contours perfectly the connector right here. So connect it. Connect it. Oh, connect it on the other arm too. <laughs> Not break it. So, strike two. One. This connects. This connects. Everything pegs in perfectly. Uh, voila. Peg it everything back. And there you go. So the gun stores and missile just popped out so yeah like I said the other gun doesn't pack in which is kinda disappointing but yeah it's a new gun that they've added just for the fun of it I guess it's cool that they added stuff but yeah so we've got masterpiece ultra Magnus in truck mode right here for a comparison here's the ultra Magnus masterpiece mp10 so as you can see the cab mode is so similar, <laughs> except that this one has the red, uh, the, the chrome, while this one has the red bumper. Not a fan of the red bumper. I know it's uh, G1 accurate, but mm, I love the uh, chrome one. So yeah, Toy Hacks does have a uh, sticker set that uh, puts it in uh, chrome, and I just got it, so I'm gonna apply it. So real cool. And another comparison, real quick is the uh, Combiner Wars Ultra Magnus <laughs> which doesn't hold a lot but still it's a really good figure with the uh, for those who uh, noticed it is the power of uh, perfect effect cab so yeah so uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, like I said it's the same as uh, the Masterpiece one Ultra Magnus that came out a while ago a really nice figure oh I forgot to I forgot to show but we can uh, also uh, put the figures in the cockpit so put them in a seated position uh, let's remove the trailer so yeah you do have the uh, tiny mechanism right here just put pull the push the lever and it unlocks so open up the cab and you can see uh, seats right here. So let's take one figure. Let's put it in. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah. Maybe not with the arms facing backward, but uh, come on, seat, seat. All right, Oop. this is hard. I'm gonna do this off camera. It's so small. All right, so they just been placed, and it's not really a peg that pegs into the butthole, but <laughs> it's sort of a peg that is uh, sort of clamped by the the thighs. So when you see them, they're sort of uh, holding it with their thighs. So you just close it back in. Both sides, everything is in, and you can see a little bit. Not too uh, much, but yeah, inside we do see both figures. So, really cool. And yeah, pretty much it for the uh, Masterpiece MP10. Uh, not MP10, MP uh, Ultra Magnus. I want to focus. 
So yeah, really nice figure. Awesome knockoff. Has the, the fixes that I wanted for so long. So I highly recommend this. It's like 60 bucks. It's a fraction of the price of the original one. So yeah, it's, it's a no-brainer for me. Go and pick it up. It's an awesome figure. It's so much superior than the original one. Die cast, ratchety joints, butt flap fix. Yeah. So yeah, awesome figure. Go and pick it up. And thank you for watching. See you next time.